Welcome to your Daily Writing Habit, episode number 297. If you're writing a book or thinking about it or trying to finish a book in progress or trying to let more people know about your book, any of the book things, you are in the right place. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh. If you're looking for me online, look for Christine Inc. I-N-K, christine-inc.com, or just kind of look up Christine Inc. on social media and you'll probably find me, the writer. (laughs) Every day, I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 18 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success as an author, and they have the ability to turn a quote-unquote non-author into a published author. Those three things are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. So once again, good morning and happy Sunday. And as we do here on your daily writing habit every Sunday, we're going to have have a Sunday story time where I select a book off my shelf, whether it's one of my client books or one of my own or just a book that has had an impact on me in some way. And I read you a brief excerpt followed by some sort of learning question or some way to have you think about it and apply it to your own writing. So the book I chose today, I've read before on the air here, but since it's like a 700 and something page long book, you'll probably see it (laughs) many more times because it's also the way this book is divided is into these tiny little chapters, kind of like little vignettes. So it's a great book to to read from for, for our purposes. And it is called Tools of Titans, The Tactics, Routines, and Habits of Billionaires, Icons, and World Class Performers. And it's by Tim Ferriss. He's the author of The Four Hour Work Week. So here's an excerpt, and this is from an interview he did on his podcast with Caroline Paul, and she's an author and thought leader and athlete and all an Olympian, I believe. So she's, a, she's an Olympian, she's an author, and just a very inspirational person. And what they talked about in this particular part of the interview is called Encouraging Girls. That's the name of this excerpt. And the reason I chose this, chose this excerpt is a lot of it having to do with the recent, uh, you know, Kobe Bryant tragedy where he and his daughter just tragically killed in that helicopter crash. But some of the positives that came out of that was this message of, you know, the inspirational effect and the power that a dad has raising a girl. There was even the Twitter hashtag, hashtag girl dad that came out following that. So this excerpt kind of reminded me of that. So I felt like I should read it. And here we go. Uncommon parenting differences between raising sons and daughters. And this is again, Caroline Paul saying this. With boys, there is an active encouragement, despite the possibility that they could get hurt and guiding the son to do it often on his own. When a daughter decides to do something that might have some risk involved, After cautioning her, the parents are much more likely to assist her in doing it. What is this telling girls? They're fragile and they need our help. That is acculturated, acculturated (laughs) early. So of course, by the time we're women and in the workplace or relationships, that's going to be a predominant paradigm for us, fear. And Tim Ferriss interjected and said, for women who are listening and say to themselves, my God, she's totally right. I was raised in a bubble of sorts. I don't want to have this default anymore. I want to condition myself to be able to contend with fear and put it in line. What would you say to them? And Caroline Paul responded, I would say it's time to adopt a paradigm of bravery instead of a paradigm of fear. So when you have a boy and a girl or a man and a woman facing the exact same situation, there will be two emotional reactions to it that are sort of opposite. The man will be trying to access his bravery and the woman woman will be accessing her fear. And Tim Ferriss responds, this really underscores something important. Courage takes practice. It's a skill you have to develop. I feel like a coward sometimes. We're sitting here in my house and doing this interview and on my coffee table is a quote on a piece of driftwood from Anais Nin. It says, life shrinks or expands in proportion to one's courage. I literally have this on my coffee table, so I see it every day. That is a great excerpt. And the question I want you to think about today is, I love that line that Caroline Paul said, It's time to adopt a paradigm of bravery instead of a paradigm of fear. So I'll just leave you with this question. In your life, and particularly in your writing, in your role as an author, how can you adopt a paradigm of bravery instead of a paradigm of fear? I will 
leave you with that. And as always, thank you for joining me here on Your Daily Writing Habit, where I'm helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. And I'd love it if you would stop by my Ink Authors group on Facebook and just come over and say hello to all the authors there. We're all here to support you. Thank you. And until tomorrow, happy writing.